A meteorologist Kenton Juwicki. Let's talk about the science behind a total solar eclipse. How can we even see a total solar eclipse? Well, it has to do, of course, with the sun, the moon, and the earth. But this, of course, isn't what size they actually are. In fact, the sun itself is about 865,000 miles wide in diameter. Meanwhile, us here on Earth, well, our planet is only 8,000 miles wide in diameter. That means that the sun is about 100 times larger than the Earth. And the moon, meanwhile, it's about four times smaller than the Earth. Of course, if you think about it then this way, it means that the sun is 400 times larger than the moon. And if we also look at some distance, that's important for this event to happen. The sun is 400 times farther away from the Earth than it is the moon. And it's this coincidence between the distance of these three solar objects and their sizes that allows, at least from the Earth's surface, is it allows us to view the moon and the sun as exactly the same size. And so when their angles meet up, we're able to see the moon completely block out all of the sun's light, because again, they appear at, as the exact same size. That's going to give us a shadow. And on August 21st, that shadow is going to be going right over the United States of America. It's going to go coast to coast from the northwest to the southeast, going right through the heart of America and right through Missouri as well. Columbia almost right in the center of this 70 mile wide path of totality. We're going to start off here, though, with a partial solar eclipse. And this partial solar eclipse is going to start in Columbia, at least downtown here, to use an, as an example, around 11.45 a.m. Then we're going to move into the path of totality. This is when day turns into night because the moon, again, is completely covering up all of the sun's light. And all we're left to see is the very outskirts of the sun's outer atmosphere. It consists of plasma particles that are 2 million degrees hot in this event, uh, day turning into night, and totality only lasts for about 2 minutes and 37 seconds, at least in Colombia. It's going to be different depending on where you are along the path. And then, of course, we end again with a partial eclipse as the moon goes back away, and that's going to be for Colombia ending around 2.40 p.m. So all in all, it's about a 2.5 to 3-hour event. If you would like to see the times for your city, you can go to KOMU.com, click on the Eclipse tab, and you can see it all right there.